Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series. Hello, a little hiatus, but we're back now with the Shadow Hawks. And this is the SHD-2D. The 2D is a Davian variant introduced in the late 2700s, I think somewhere like 2796, I think that's right. It was uh, quite a departure from the normal uh, 2H Shadow Hawk and the fact that Davian wanted to get a bit more firepower on there, so they stripped out about 5 ton of its armour as standard uh, for an extra SRM2 with some extra ammunition in there uh, for good measure. Basically this was to increase the 2D's uh, close range combat capability. However, um, it was a bit too vulnerable uh, historically. It uh, didn't allow the mech to go toe to toe with most units it was against, so instead it was usually a mech that was used in ambushes, uh, usually to attack targets um, unawares with a rapid volley of uh, SRM fire and medium lasers. Uh, before probably using its jump jets to escape or allowing its lance mates to uh, finish the work. So in Mechoran Line, the 2D is a triple uh, missile hardpoint variant. Uh, one in the CT, one in the head, and one in the right torso, I think. Or left torso. Yeah, we right torso. Uh, the ballistic is in the left torso, the only one. And it has three energy hardpoints, two in the left and one in the right arm. Which means you can do a fairly decent uh, splash build with some SRMs. You can have multiple LRM5s, but there are mechs that do LRM5 spam better. And you can also go with a nice pulse build, obviously, with those arm-mounted lasers. Obviously the downside being arm-mounted, the Shadowhawk has got relatively easy arms to blow off. I, I like to think of it akin to using things like the Phoenix Hawk currently, which uh, has a lot of emphasis on its arm-mounted weapons, uh, because your, your missiles aren't going to be doing a hell of a lot of damage unless you're up close, so you're going to be relying on your energy hard points uh, to sort of soften targets up if you're just going with all SRM builds and or all LRM builds. And your ballistic, I mean, it's a, it's a single high-mounted ballistic point, similar to that of the Hunchback, so it's not unheard of uh, for players to stick something, uh, a big ballistics hard point in there, something like an AC-20, can be done. You can even get a fair amount of ammunition in there, and even a couple of medium lasers just to back you up. Basically make a uh, five ton heavier hunchback if you want. Uh, but yeah, playing to its strengths, obviously the upside is the extra five tons and the fact that it's got jump jet capability as well. And it looks pretty cool. I do like the Shadow Hawk redesign that they did. So, yeah, um... New target acquired. It's, it's obviously been a mech that's been out for quite a while now. Uh, it's been a bit uh, back and forth. I remember originally feeling that it, it was it was a mech I liked, but I, I had trouble finding a build for it. But builds, you know, came about, and this I'm talking about back when I used to do custom builds, and I did used to run uh, an AC-20 or an, or an AC-10 version of this way back when with some uh, pulse lasers, and as a stock build, it's okay. Obviously, you'll definitely want to get in the endo steel uh, just to be able to recoup some of that 5-ton armor loss. Uh, that's one of its bigger issues. Uh, XL engines, yeah, they can work. Shadowhawks generally are quite flexible with the, with XL engines. You don't tend to get your uh, your torso blown off quite as easily with the uh, Shadowhawks anyway. But then uh, I'm not sure if you see them as often as you used to. So you know, experiment. If you've got a spare XL engine or you've got cash flush, you could try it, see how it works out for you. And if it doesn't, wait for the pinpoint alphas. Just uh, just go to a standard engine because. Uh, you know, you can still fit in a decent uh, standard engine with some uh, good speed in there and still have plenty of room for some of your other hard points that you want to put in. Uh, so I will leave you with the rest of the footage for that. Uh, I do recommend having a go with the older 2D. It's uh, it's not a bad Shadowhawk build. Uh, it's not my favourite of the lot, but um, it's it's not a bad choice if you're going to have a go for it. If you haven't tried out Shadowhawks yet, if you just didn't like uh, experimenting with them mediums. And I'll see you on the next uh, Chassis Variant Series, so have a good one folks, and I'll see you next time. Crystal Rockets, signing out. New target acquired.
protocol. Target acquired. Oh. 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 